Hey, 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 this is Lindsay Bank, psychic medium and spiritual entrepreneur. And this week I bring you the energy reading and what you need to know most with the pandemic and coronavirus and what is going on. So stay tuned and enjoy the reading. Hey, 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 good afternoon, everyone. Obviously, we've got so much stuff going on around the world to do with coronavirus at the minute. And I shuffled my cards and picked them last night for what the cards like to know to this week. And with one of the cards, I got in and I was like, I don't understand. So I've spent a lot of time today just asking and reflecting, what does this card mean? So the first card for this week is practice makes perfect the card that I got stuck with because I was like what does it mean practice and as I when I walk in today I feel as if you know with some of us or some people are currently self-isolating some of us are at home some of us are out shopping and I just feel like wherever you are at the minute whether you're at home or whether you're about the practice makes perfect it's about going back to basics and it's about practicing being kind, practicing showing compassion for us, practicing empathy. Mindfulness is massive right now because we'll have this whole, like I said, it's a fear driven, um, I don't know the right word, but it's there's a lot of fear around at the minute and it's like the what if, what if, what if. So practicing mindfulness right now is really helpful in terms of like our emotional health and our mental health so whilst we're also looking after our physical health there is this opportunity to be really present and practicing this mindfulness and practicing being grateful for what you do have in terms of you know you've got your house you know you might have your family around you close friends etc so i do feel like this card is really about going back to the basics um if you if you don't know how to practice mindfulness or gratitude or anything like that, I have a book called A Gentle Hug for the Soul. It gives you these sort of tools to get through stressful times in our life. And this feels, for many of us, a bit like a stressful time. So that's the first card. I feel it's this real bringing, um, going back to basics and practicing those. The second card I got was Angel of Families. It says this, the angels surround both you and your family at the moment. And I th this is just, it's a reminder about, you know, the families that we have that are close to us. How can we stay connected to them if we're self-isolated? And how can we stay close to those older relatives? Yeah, so we've got technology now. We can use WhatsApp. We can use Zoom. It's about being with those that you love and reconnecting um, and just spending time with those nearest and dearest as much as you can. The third card I got was illumination. So if you are, if you already follow people like in the spiritual realm, etc., there's a lot of um, writings and paintings and art and everything else which is talking about this time being a time of great awakening. And that's what I feel this card is showing. It's that illumination and a bit, a bit like with the first card with practice makes perfect. This card is also about going back to okay so who am I yeah is this what I want from my life you know and really just coming more aware of connections and community and supporting others um and it's like it's a big you know we've never had to down tools in this sort of for most of us in this lifetime we've never been told you have to do this or don't go to work or don't go to school etc so this is a real time to be able to just spend it um with ourselves yeah which we don't often do you know we might have a two week summer holiday but if you are indoors yeah what do you enjoy doing what do you mean just thinking about who you are and feeling and allowing any feelings to sort of come up and arise and then to date but yeah, that's the card that I feel. So I, I feel like this card is to do with the fact that this is involved with a, a mass awakening, basically. 
this card I got, so winter, take care of your needs. So it basically, it, it's what it says on the tin. Look after you, eat nutritious, healthy food, you know, do some exercise, get some fresh air, and just basically really spend this time looking after yourself so then you are able and healthy to look after others as well. And it's not selfish, you know, to to spend that time on you. It's much, much, much I don't think I can emphasise that much more, much needed right now. So do look after you. <coughs> and the last one, which is an affirmation card, which I feel is just the words are just right for this time. It says, um, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So that's that card. So by all means, screenshot it, write it down, and then you can put it somewhere. But there's definitely a fear arising, and it's not just about fear of catching a virus. It's more to it. There's the fear of, work, you know, potentially losing a job. There's the fear of spending a couple of weeks with your children if you're not used to doing so, or maybe longer than you'd anticipated. There's a fear of not being able to go to work if your children are at home. What are we going to do? What are we? So there's a lot of fear. And then there's fear around money, fear around food shortages. There's just fear everywhere. And it's how do we, as a collective and as a people, how do we dissipate that fear? So identifying our fears first. So what are we most afraid of? And then working with that, if that makes sense. So if, if that your fear is not having any money then what else can you do around that if that makes sense but there's just this fear and it's how we like that card says the fear bit is like an illusion and it's how we break through that illusion to come out the other side as a collective yeah so it is it does feel i just keep saying people it's like it's like crazy times at the minute it does feel very surreal um it's affecting me as much as it is anyone else so i am in this with you i am feeling it um i took myself off for a walk today because i just felt I, I, I can't even explain i felt as if i wasn't in my own body i felt as if i was sort of out here and my body was being left behind and I felt a bit dizzy and a little bit just, whew, just not, just a, a bit overwhelmed, I think. Um, so I took myself out for a walk in the fresh air, went sat in a field and meditated for 20 minutes, came home and I feel much more grounded. I feel a lot calmer, etc. So do take whatever steps that you feel necessary um, to get through these times. Yeah. The other thing I'm finding as well is if you are spiritual, if you're an empath or anything else, spiritually, um, it's been a couple of surreal days. So a friend of mine asked if I would channel the spirit of Willick, the poet. Um, <coughs> I said, yes, I'd love to. Let's see what happens. And I managed to channel him. And he announced his arrival to me whilst I was in the shower with, tis I. I was like, okay, but you need to wait. Um, and then this morning I had Julie appear to me as well. So later on this afternoon, I'm going to be asking him what his message is and sharing that for you guys as well. So I hope you have a fabulous week. Stay calm, stay well, and I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you for watching this week's energy reading. If you've enjoyed it, then please do give my channel a like and subscribe. And if you haven't already seen it, do catch The Spiritual Journey, where I speak with others on their spiritual journey and what they, how they are helping others on their spiritual journey. See you soon.